And now to another political update, this one back here in Washington. As an agreement between Senate Democrats and House Republicans on a short-term short government funding measure appeared near. The Senate is scheduled to vote tonight on a bill that would keep the government operating through November 18th. News our political editor David Chalian is here with the latest. So, headline, crisis averted for now. <laughs> crisis averted for now. That's okay. exactly right, Jeff. Uh, this Friday, the funding, uh, uh, the end of the fiscal year arrives, and there was nothing in place as the beginning of the next fiscal year uh, was to get started on Saturday. So what they're doing is funding the government for a short term until November 18th in order to work out all the negotiations for how they want to fund everything for the rest of the year. But what was keeping this uh, sort of tied up in knots was the disaster aid for FEMA funding because FEMA, uh, the Federal Emergency mm -hmm. Management Agency, uh, wasn't sure that it was going to be able to make it through this week. And, and this is after a very tough summer of disasters, natural disasters around the country. All around the country, yeah. floods, tornadoes, yeah. hurricanes. A and so, of course, that plays very uh, tough politically for a lot of folks to play around with disaster funding uh, because nobody likes to be seen as not on the side of people who are in pain and need aid. Right. But it, but it, but it came down to not so much, nobody's against the aid, right? It's, it was over how to pay for the aid. Precisely, as everything in Washington is these yeah. days about spending and too much government spending. And so you're right, nobody wanted to look on the side, and nobody was against the aid. Every bill, House Republican bills, Senate Democratic bills that have been going back and forth for the last couple weeks had, had lots of uh, aid funding in there. The House Republicans last week passed a bill that said, though, to get FEMA through the rest of fiscal year 2011, if we are going to pr provide them more money, that needs to be offset by spending cuts elsewhere. The Democrats said no, that, we, that, that the country cannot be in a place where you can't predict disasters, you never know when somebody's going to need disaster aid, and you can't have a debate about what to cut elsewhere at a time when people need immediate aid. So they said there should not be offsets when we're talking about disaster aid. It has not been the norm in the country for there to be such offsets. Today, and, yeah. And, but but I mean, uh, that happened, and then suddenly there was an impasse. Was everybody surprised? I mean, suddenly there was again the question of a government shutdown. Well, it, nobody wanted a shutdown to come, and they knew uh, people on both sides that I spoke to on Capitol Hill said at all costs they were going to avert mm -hmm. it uh, because they understand how angry the public is. But what happened today to ease the path to avoid the shutdown was that FEMA announced they actually had enough money to get through this week. Well, once they said that they had enough money to get through this week, the whole battle of offsetting costs to extend their funding for this week disappeared. Nobody was fighting about the, the money that was starting to be spent this coming Saturday. That's where there was agreement. So now the Senate will pass this bill, the House will have to pass uh, the identical measure, and they'll be able to avert the shutdown. But the politics of this, Jeff, it would have been disastrous for members of Congress to get up to the deadline again. Another clock on cable news channels counting mm -hmm. down to a shutdown. It would rattle the markets, and it would bring wrath from the voters who clearly have said they want to Clear, uh, Clearly, and if they needed any more, any more evidence, there was yet another poll today. Another poll today from Gallup this morning saying that people feel the government is more incompetent than ever. They are angrier at their government than they've ever been. And, and so... It's, they're not immune to this, these members of Congress. They see this and they understand it. It's why we've heard a new tone uh, in Washington. And as soon as it started getting to this idea of countdown to the shutdown or a shutdown showdown, I think everyone, Democrats and Republicans are like, we're looking very quickly for a path out. FEMA provided one today. Because, of course, looming out there are much bigger, much, much bigger issues, right? Much bigger issues, long-term issues mm -hmm. for the next 10 years about our fiscal stability. All right, David Chalian, thanks again. Sure, my pleasure.